My name is Jason Ball, I'm an engineer at Automatic, and I'm here to talk about WordPress meets Wasm, the full power of the CMS in any app. So I've spent most of my career using WordPress in pretty non-traditional ways, and uh, I wanna take you back to where that started. Um, so in 2006, I came across a website called Leo, uh, for marketing agency, Leo Burnett. Uh, at the time, it was one of the most interactive things I'd seen on the web. I was uh, pretty impressed with it, and I became obsessed with learning to make interactions like this. And that ultimately led me to learning Flash, uh, and Flash, uh, as many of us probably know, is a timeline-based editor for building interactive sites for the web. Uh, so I taught myself how to recreate this Leo Burnett site using Flash, and then I continued to create more and more websites using Flash. One day somebody asked me, hey, if you built a website like this for me, could I edit the content of this Flash site without knowing Flash? And at the time, I only knew how to edit a Flash site uh, using Flash, right, and maybe some action script. You had to know how to compile it, deploy it to the web. Uh, so I had to do some research, and ultimately that uh, led me to something called WordPress, uh, which was a content management system. I hadn't even heard of the word content management system at the time. Uh, but do, doing some research, I found out it had an API called XML RPC, uh, and that would allow me to write a Flash site that could consume XML from a content management system. So ultimately the answer was yes, you can use something like WordPress to edit content and use something like Flash to get the content out of it. Uh, Ultimately, that project didn't really go anywhere, but my uh, career in WordPress did, so ever since then, I've been working with WordPress. Uh, fast forward many, many years, WordPress has changed quite a bit, uh, but how I use WordPress uh, hasn't changed. I use it in very non-traditional ways. Uh, in 2016, I created a project called WP GraphQL. Uh, this is a free open source uh, WordPress plugin that turns WordPress sites into a GraphQL API. So that allows uh, users to use WordPress as a CMS, and uh, then build decoupled or headless uh, front ends using things like Next or Gatsby, Svelte, Astro, or even native iOS. Uh, so the content is managed in WordPress, uh, but then rendered in something else. And at this point, you're probably thinking, hey, pal, like, what does this have to do with Wasm? Uh, so as a, as a WordPress plugin developer, uh, one, one thing I need to do for my users is give them the ability to test my plugin quickly. And so typically that requires them to set up a full WordPress server you know, or install it on an existing server and uh, test their plugin. Uh, so that, that would require PHP, MySQL, Apache, Linux, all that. Uh, but we have a project called WordPress Playground, and that allows you to run WordPress fully in the browser, uh, and so that converts PHP to PHP Wasm, Sequ MySQL is replaced with SQLite, Apache functionality is replaced with JavaScript APIs, and the Linux functionality is replaced with Jav JavaScript polyfills. So plugin developers like me, can uh, give live previews of our plugin to our users. So when you're browsing for plugins on, we have, I don't know, 17,000 plugins on the WordPress.org repository. So if you're testing plugins, you can click the live preview button if it's supported by that plugin, and it will open up uh, WordPress fully in the browser, no dependencies, uh, with plugins like mine active, and folks can test it right there in the browser. So that's one use case. Another use case for me, personally, uh, I manage my content uh, for my marketing and blog content in WordPress as a just traditional CMS. Uh, but then when I uh, want to manage my docs, I want to manage my docs and markdown files close to the code, right? Um, something, if you've used WordPress for a long time to edit content, something about editing markdown directly feels a bit archaic. I don't mind it. A lot of users that do uh, manage content don't want to manage content in markdown. Uh, so. Uh, with this, WordPress Playground supports a workflow where we can open up uh, WordPress fully in the browser, connect with GitHub, uh, so this gets my docs from my markdown files fully in the browser, imports it into WordPress. Again, there's no server running, it's all in the browser. It will import my markdown files from my GitHub repository into WordPress. I can then edit my content using uh, proper CMS. I can make changes to my content, like maybe fix a typo or what, what not save my content, and when I'm done making the changes, I can export it back to GitHub as a pull request. So this allows me to you know, edit content from any data source, really. This is just one example markdown, but you could use this to edit content in any other data source. Uh, fully in the browser, again, no, no server or anything like that running. Um, so th these are just two examples of how you can use WordPress in ways that maybe you wouldn't have thought uh, before. So we can use WordPress uh, in the terminal, the desktop, mobile, front end, all that stuff. Um, so the, another example, you can embed WordPress in web pages. You can run execute PHP functions even when there's no network uh, access. You can use WordPress native apps on mobile. 
Uh, you could use, like I said, uh, WordPress and terminal apps. Uh, this is a desktop app called Studio where you can spin up WordPress sites locally to do testing uh, with just a few clicks of a button. Uh, we have uh, some uh, WordPress VS Code extensions in the works right now as well. Uh, so the question is, is this full, free, open source? So uh, whether you're interested in WordPress or not, uh, what can you build with this technology is the question. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, you can find us at w.org slash playground. I'm on uh, Twitter or X or whatever uh, at Jason Ball. Thank you.